has avoided police for weeks despite us knowing his name and these clear security images. Tonight, police have Jason Hay in custody facing four charges in the Mocha Cafe shooting. With guns drawn, the takedown happened on a busy stretch of Highway 400. This is where it ended for Jason Hay, handcuffed on the side of the, s the road. These are exclusive pictures from right after the takedown. Hay is facing two charges of first-degree murder and two for attempted murder. CTV's crime reporter Tamara Cherry is at one district in York Region where Hay was taken after his arrest. And Tamara, Hay wasn't the only one taken into custody. No, Zoraida, there was a young woman with him as well. Police are alleging that she is an accessory after the fact to murder, that she may have rented a car and helped Hay with his uh, in evading of police. Now, I can tell you we were here about an hour and a half ago when Jason Hay was brought in. He's probably still being processed. No doubt homicide investigators are wanting to speak with him. I can tell you that in a statement, Chief Eric Jolliffe credited the investigative work of the homicide unit for this arrest. A York Regional Police cruiser pulls into one district with a very important passenger on board. For a second, Jason Hay looks directly into our camera before he is whisked away for processing. Rewind one hour. Hay sits on the side of Highway 400 as traffic moves by. His hands are cuffed behind his back. Shortly after 2 o'clock this afternoon, uh, a high-risk takedown was conducted on Highway 400 between Mapleview Drive and Essa Road in Barrie. It was June 24th, just before 8.30 a.m., that police allege Hay opened fire in this Vaughn Cafe. He now faces two counts of first-degree murder, one for each of the people that he allegedly killed, and two counts of attempted murder for the two people who were hit by bullets and survived. We're happy to, that this arrest has been made today, and, and, you know, York Region is a safer place as a result. The murder warrant was issued one week ago today. Then, yesterday, an updated alert was issued to every officer in Ontario, telling them that Jason Hay was believed to be traveling with a young woman, a young woman driving a white Ford Fusion rental car. That young woman, police allege, was Tashari Bennett, found with Hay today, now charged with accessory after the fact to murder and breach of recognizance. According to a police source, two guns were allegedly found in the pair's rental car when they were taken down. More charges are likely to come. And I'm told that Hay and Bennett were found in a Kia Sorrento on the side of the 400. Bennett is also facing charges in Winnipeg. Her charges there include attempted murder, possession of a weapon, and an aggravated assault, as well as flight from police. Her and Hay are expected in a Newmarket courtroom tomorrow. And this investigation is not over. York police are asking anyone with information to call the homicide unit. And as always, Crime Stoppers tips are welcome. Reporting live in Newmarket, I'm Tamara Cherry. Can over to you. Thank you.